Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to create combos in the back office of Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series. Combos enable customers to order predetermined sets of items for a fixed price. They can include preset items or groups of items from which customers can choose. You can create your items beforehand or on the fly while building your combo. For more information, check out our Help Center article about combos or watch our Creating Menus and Items video which is part of our Getting Started series for K-Series. Start by logging into the back office. Then on the sidebar, click Menu Management and then Items. Next, click Create. Then select Combo from the dropdown. Now you can create your combo. Here we'll show you the basic information you need to provide. First, let's name your combo. For this example, let's go with Cheeseburger Combo. Next, choose the accounting group for your combo. For more information on accounting groups, visit the link in the description below. Then, choose the base price. Here we'll use $10. If you have a custom SKU for your combo, you can add it here. If you have multiple POS menus, you can choose where your combo will live. Click Add combo to a menu. We'll add the combo to our lunch menu. You'll then be prompted to choose a subscreen. We'll choose the lunch combo subscreen for this example. Finally, you'll need to set up the combo structure. This means choosing the items that make up your combo. Here, you can add items you've created or create an item on the spot. If you have selections, such as a choice of side or beverage, you can create the item group here as well. For this example, we'll use items already in our back office. To start, click Add and select Cheeseburger. Then click Add Selected. You will then see Cheeseburger listed in your combo structure. Now, we'll create the item groups needed for your combo's side and beverage options. Item groups are collections of items that your customers can choose from. Click Add, then click New Group. We'll start by making our sides group. Begin by giving your item group a name. We'll call it Sides. Next, we will set the price. When choosing how to price your item group, you have two options. Items options keep their prices, and items options have set prices for the group. The first option means that the items chosen for the group will keep the prices assigned to them when the item was created, and will affect the total price of the combo depending on what you choose. The second option sets a fixed price for the group. For our sides group, we'll give it a set price of $2. So, regardless of what you choose, the price will remain the same. Next, click the drop down under the item options to choose the items that will be a part of this group. We will choose fries and onion rings as our choices for our sides group. Click save and you will then see the group added to your combo structure. Now, we will repeat the process for our drink options. This time, We'll name the group Beverages. We will choose Options will keep their prices. This means our choices will retain their original prices. Following the same steps as before, we will add Medium Drink, Large Drink, Bottled Water, and Beer, each with their own set prices. Click Save to add our Beverage group to the combo structure. When you're done, click Save and you'll see your combo listed in your item inventory. On your POS, reload the configuration and go to your lunch menu, then your lunch combo submenu, and you will see your cheeseburger combo. Tap the combo, and you will then be asked to choose your selections. Make your side and beverage choices, and then tap Add to Ticket to add the combo to your order. For more information on additional configurations or setting up combos and on how to create items and menus, check the links in the description below or visit our K-Series Help Center.